Hello and welcome. I'm really glad that you could join me. And I am again with our Head of Research and Development, Dr. Diana Howard. Welcome, Diana. And uh, I feel like Oprah when I'm interviewing Diana. She's so fascinating, interesting. I um, promise I won't ask you about your personal life though, Diana. Um, <laughs> Dr. Diana Howard is responsible for research and development of all the Dermalogica products and all the curriculum that supports us educationally. And so is a mine of information of all things Dermalogica and International Dermal Institute. And we're talking about uh, issues and subjects that you have voiced to us or we hear from the end user, the consumer, who also emails us and asks us questions about Dermalogica. And today I want to talk about one of my favorite subjects, Diana, because they're one of my favorite ingredients, and that is the use of peptides in products and specifically the use of peptides in Dermalogica. We mm -hmm. read a lot about them, we talk a lot mm -hmm. about them because we use them in Age Smart system, we use them in our Chroma White TRX right. system. But just so that we're armed with information that's easy to understand and, and tell our clients about, what is a peptide and why is so much being written about them and everyone is, is, is talking about them? Peptides are small chains, small, tiny little proteins, fragments. But what makes them so significant is that we make them in the laboratory, so they're synthetically made, and we can control the amount of amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins or peptides, peptides being little fragments, and we can control the order that the amino acids are linked together. Mm -hmm. So if I have three amino acids making up my little peptide, and I link them in a certain order, I can evoke a certain response in a cell. Um, or in the skin, for example, I can make collagen be synthesized by the order mm -hmm. of that peptide. If I change the order of those three amino acids, I can get a different response in the skin. Mm -hmm. So you can control, and really we call them signaling molecules. They are signaling the cells what to do. And that's why we love them so much, because it's new state-of-the-art technology of all of the ingredients that cosmetic formulators have to use in a formulation. I would put my money on the peptides for giving you the most significant response, especially in the skin. But not all peptides are created equal, and that's the thing that most people don't understand. Yeah, because you just hear peptides, but right. as you're explaining, it's a little bit like Lego. You, you can mm -hmm. sort of different Lego bricks, yes. and you can build it the way you want it. Many years ago, and you and I have been in the industry long enough to, to well remember the days when collagen as a protein was right. used, which was an excellent hydrator, an animal ingredient we don't use it in Domologica but it was one of those um, I guess it was a I mean it was a protein right. it was maybe a precursor the results we would get with that ingredient a precursor to the peptides but the peptides are more of a designer collagen you can build what you want collagen is made up of about a thousand amino acids so it's huge it is truly right. a peptide because it's so big it could never penetrate the right. skin but we loved the feel that it gave, mm -hmm. the, te the texture and the smoothness to our mm. skin. And that's why it was used in a lot of anti-aging types of products, because it smoothed the skin and it really seemed to refine the fine lines and wrinkles. Mm -hmm. We are now talking about not thousand amino acid length peptides like, or proteins like collagen, we're talking about three, four, and five. Mm. Hence the name we use tripeptide, meaning three amino acids, or we use pentapeptide, five amino acids. Right. So they're much smaller fragments that can penetrate the skin and can go to targeted sites like the fibroblasts. So you can get a very targeted result with a designer peptide yes. that you've built for a specific uh, treatment. Absolutely. So we use peptides in a lot of our products, and I know you worked extensively on the peptides we use in both the Age Smart. Mm -hmm system and the Chroma White right. TRX system. Can you talk a little bit about the peptides you designed and, and worked with for those two systems? Well, they're very different, and one thing I want everybody to understand is um, not all peptides are created equal. Each one is unique to itself. Mm -hmm. The peptides we use in Age Smart, Age Smart are many. We use the arginine lysine polypeptide, which acts as a sugar trap to prevent the advanced glycation end mm -hmm. products. We use peptides such as tripeptides and um, pentapeptides in the power rich oh, yeah, it's, it's my favorite yes. product you know i mean i can't yes. i swear that my skin looks entirely different when i use power rich which is every night but if i skip it just to kind of see myself yeah. if it's different my skin's different yeah. i mean that is a fantastic product and the workhorse in all of these products whether it's the age smart or the chroma white 
are in fact the peptides. Right. It's a cocktail of ingredients, but the peptide really is the workhorse there. And so we have the peptides in the Age Smart are also stimulating collagen. Um, they are doing, um, in various different ways, they're stimulating that collagen because after all, we, we lose 1% of our collagen every year after the age of 30. So we mm. need to do that if we're uh, maturing, our skin is maturing. Yet Chroma White uses an entirely different type of peptide. We developed this with an Asian uh, biopharmaceutical company. Mm -hmm. The Oligopeptide 34, Dermalogica is the only company to be using this peptide. It significantly reduces and controls tyrosinase enzyme or melanin formation, and hence that's why we've put it in the Chroma White, as you know. Yeah, Chroma uh, White really works. Do you see results within that? I know we don't say you see results in right. a couple of weeks because you know we always want to give it sort of one epidermis, so we normally will say in a month or so, but it, I've seen results on my own skin within two weeks. Especially the sun-induced. If yes. you're out in the garden or you accidentally yeah. got caught without reapplying sunblock and right. you notice a few days later hyperpigmentation, that chroma white is fantastic with mm -hmm. that. We have seen results, and I have to say, in two weeks mm -hmm. on sun induced. Hormone is a, hormonally induced is a little tougher. Mm -hmm. Post inflammatory, a little tougher. But that oligopeptide 34, along with the brightening cocktail that's in the chroma white system, really does an incredible job there. I remember when you were doing the studies here in, in the lab mm -hmm. and you were um, looking at the photographs and, and, I mean, not just regular photographs, but deep microscopic right. photographs of the skin, and you were super excited about the yeah. results we were getting with yeah. it. And the, the thing that I love so much about the chroma white is we did blind studies. So we were making up formulas and we give it to people people and have them use it. And then when I saw that somebody had significant results on a sun-induced hyperpigmented spot, um, I was just like shocked and I came running in the lab and I'm like, I want to know what is in that particular <laughs> formula because I only had it by a formula code. And we literally tested, as you know, over 200 different um, active brightening, yeah. lightening agents. Yeah. And it was the oligopeptide and then we subsequently combined it with the other whitening cocktail. Uh, mixture um, that gave us the most uh, significant results. Right, and we tested not only um, formulations that you were developing and tried every ingredient that was pretty standard in the industry um, other than hydroquinone, which we had used right. 20 years ago and abandoned because of safety issues, which we actually have discussed on a previous Nine at Nine. Please check that out about hydroquinone specifically. But um, we'd also looked at competitors' products right. and we just couldn't see the results and we mm -hmm. were we had been working for years to develop a product that really would treat pigmentation right. and have been disappointed and this was really mm -hmm. I remember that it was really exciting when we yeah. came across that so peptides one of the latest ingredients in in the industry obviously just the start of, of a whole area of study and research and develop, which I know you're very excited about, mm -hmm. Diana, and we're excited about, because whatever Diana is working on with her team, we are absolutely going to have in, in our products, and, uh, and I will be the first guinea pig, so um, I'm always looking forward to that. I think I need a power-rich body, body cream, by the way. 1% <laughs> of collagen a year after the age of 30, I think I probably need a couple of, of big, big containers of body product of power-rich. But uh, anyway. It's uh, great to have you with us. Always good to speak to you, Diana. Thank you very much.